لاغت مرتا نورمالي نورمالي Ladies and gentlemen, yes, OG versus Navi game one just about to go. We get the nice, brilliant game of these two teams together. Absolutely, yes. So there's some exciting stuff hopefully going to be kicking off in this game oh. between OG and Navi. And it's already starting here. Seb, yeah, he's walked up into a trap. Navi, they're waiting there on the high ground. And Seb, he loses his life. Right now I'm seeing OG with a very big lack of damage in their lineup. And the panel did talk about how inside of Chrono, there isn't the damage either there for OG. Here we go, the fan always want to fly. Shards out, trap him in. Topson's able to take him out with the tricks of the trade. These moves and start to threaten some of these cores, catching them in the smoke stream with slow. Maybe with numbers, they can try something still here. here. We go. They can they outnumber easily with arrows. Two more sort of opportunities that they can find. General, Arena down, able to push Topson over to the side. Roger actually turning with the burst. Topson getting low, but he jumps in. General pushes him out. Topson's going to yeah. go down. The Chrono is there, but there's no damage. It's a Chrono for nothing as now OG's got to turn and run. As they've lost Topson, all they got was Roger. Seb, hey, look he's at found Seb. in the trees. He's trapped in here as they surround him, burst him down with the infest. It's a second core kill for Na'Vi. And now Na'Vi's in position to push onto the tower. Hey, no -tail. Always no -tail wanna, he's got a glimpse up. The controls there from the disruptor. Always want to fly. Brings back no tail into the hands of Iceberg in general. It's a third kill. Na'Vi, they are starting to steamroll over OG. From always want to fly. No, he's starting to back away. They know that TP reaction's coming in from OG in mid one. He has got the chrono good to go. So Na'Vi on the retreat. There's the quick Ooh. glimpse. Mid one. Oh, whoa. Okay, interesting decision. I mean, it will get them the kill. Okay. Uh, but, it, but it is just the disruptor. Of course, everybody else is out of there. I guess, as you say, just desperate for any sort of action. They'll take what they can get. Zax is stepping up into this. Roger right, setting up with the Invis rune. He's going to be able to land the stun on the mid one. Mid one's more strange than this. Have they got enough damage? They don't. Mid one's able to time walk down to the left round. B2 sweeping across from the side. OG very grouped up right now, but there's no chrono. Light strike array on Snow Tail. To Iceberg just committing onto mid one with these big hits, forcing him to time walk away. B2 turns to No Tail, takes down the Ogre over towards Zax. They go. He's got one final leap to break himself away. The spear off Mark. Zax will escape. That BKB showing OG. But OG still wants Trying to punch back. Yeah, yeah Tops is looking for opportunities. The, like the static storm instantly down. No field, though. So they can step out of it straight away. V tune turning over to what Sax. They're trapped in the arena. Sax will fall. Iceberg charging in onto mid one. Mid one. He's got time walk up in a second. Is he going to be able to get it off? He's turning with the passion, but the spin Ooh. into the shards. Combo play there from Navi. Shuts down mid one. And now Navi, they might even find Seb or Topson here, too. And Seb. He's got the snowball over towards the Ancients. Each and every time, that the, the way that OG disengages has to be done so smartly. Otherwise, always want to fly. He's just going to be able to set up for a, another kill for the side of Na'Vi. Yeah. They, these two do have to be very aware of their position. Roger, Mid one. always want to fly. Mid one. They're going to blink in. He's able to blink over. the chrono off. Dodge the chrono. The chrono is still down, but the arena's in play as well as the spear. Mid one's caught in the midst of it all. He's trying to find always want to fly. Always want to fly. He's going to be healed up by the infest. v -tune comes in with the save. They take out Mid one. They take out Zep two. There's OG, the they're trying to run, but there's that grab we're talking about. The glimpse brings no tail back in. Na'Vi with some fantastic plays there. For that, that's why it all happens. The Doom actually comes out right after mid one uses Mask of Madness to... No Chrono Sphere available. They know how much... I mean, they're so much stronger even without their ults, but they have the Mars ult anyway now. And they're swooping in. They have vision of this here. Enjoy the setup. Yours to begin things. Static Storm down as well. Straight into the arena wall. Have they got the damage though? It's it doesn't look like it. Mid one's going to be fine. Tries to turn, but now Iceberg and v are turning up. They'll move over Roger, but Roger with the Ghost Scepter, he's able to live. Mid one is taking usage from v as v takes him out. Roger falling low. He will go down. The buyback comes out straight away from Always Want to Fly. Navi, the one is chasing with that buyback from Always Want to Fly. He's able to get him with the glimpse onto Seb. Seb counteracts him with the snowball over towards General. General pushes away Sansa. Jump in from v keeps him healed up. And v can beat down on Seb whilst he spears the cliff by General, and the chase is still on from Iceberg. He's running down Saxa. Saxa using the Glimmer Cape to try and get away. Tough as well, but Saxa with the Jukes. He's into the oh. trees, but the ward dropped down from Always Want to Fly. It allows him to glimpse back to Saxa into the Thunderstrike. Na'Vi kill off a fourth. Some of these levels as well. You know, well, now at this stage, V-Tune level 17 already. Yeah. Uh, you sort of compare that to the OG. Oh, mid. I mean, mid, mid, mid one. The he's just going to get Doom straight up. And Iceberg, he's just going to commit the PK. He run him down. He's glimpsed back into the Light Strike Array. I mean, Iceberg was just able to walk up and Doom him. And with the Arena and Static Storm, they might even get more from this. Saxon, he's trying to step away with the leaps. He will make it out of there. No tail turns with the Fire Blast. On always want to fly. Iceberg, he's still hunting for Saxa. In he he's goes with him. the Blink. The Dust is still on Saxa, so Iceberg can finish him off. Light Strike down onto no tail in the mid the general spear takes his life also as you mentioned 15,000 experience they're just they're so much stronger with their heroes 
I don't... Is that the tap? Oh, he's going to get a TP in. He's in with the you BKB. The Shiva's guard. He knows that he can do this. Just jumping onto mid one. And they'll look to try and chase down more here. Have they got any further detection on the front lines? They've able to get in with the glimpse on a Saxa. He's out towards the side, but he's still got leaps available. Into the trees. No tail's been found by Iceberg in general. A clean up a sec. Yeah, Iceberg knows how free it really is for him in this game. 8 0 14. He's, yeah. he's played it perfect. He's Top just seven. always jumping in. No fear. But to get in on always want to fly. V2. Turned over one Saxa, but Saxa. He's away with the glimmer. They'll look for Seb instead, though. Seb. He's headed in on this one. Laguna down. Iceberg jumps forward. As they've managed to slam down Seb with the Infernal Blade, Seb will fall. Navi's got to be a little cautious right now. This is where they can hemorrhage some kills here that could Topsa. be pretty big. Topson's giving find? info. Still trying to hunt deeper, but the sentry's down. Topson, he's into always it immediately. Always want to play. He's able to get the static storm off. Yule Scepter up onto Topson, straight oh. into the spear. Instant reactions there from Always Want to Fly. Coming into the lane, dropping that sentry. Losing this tier 2 tower here, OG. So they have their ults. It's just so hard for them to fight. And onto the side, Iceberg, he's just in. Straight away onto no tail. Tell is going to be able to step out. The Moonlight Shadow used to help him. They'll turn onto Iceberg, but Iceberg's got the BKB. He's also got a Doom available. Oh, mid one. Maybe seeing if he can find one of the cores to drop it, but it wasn't the case. Do get the Fire Blast onto General. They're trying to initiate in onto this, but quick with the Infest into General. General, he's turning. Arena's down. Doom is onto an illusion. The Chrono's there from mid one. Has he got the damage? He doesn't know who to hit or take the life of Always Want to Fly, but that's all he's he can dashed. do. Now, Pichu just turns towards him. The clumsy net from, Roger, from General locks down mid one. Mid one is gone. Now looking for more V-Tune steps over towards Seb. Seb able to get the snowball up down to the low ground. Looking towards Iceberg. The arrow flying in as well. They've stunned Iceberg, but they haven't got the damage to kill him. Iceberg's able to step away. Lagoon around to Topson. It's an ultra kill for V-Tune. Iceberg still hunting for Saxa. Saxa, the last man left alive here on OG. Yeah, and now they'll go for Roche. 25k lead. I mean, yeah, just incredible numbers being hit here. 30 minutes in, this sort of a lead, like, it's, it's, it's just insane. Oh, the arrow. They don't have follow-up, though. Pops is still dead. Midwood's going to try with the oh. DD. He's going to he try. He's got a DD. Can he kill Vichun? He's trying. He's trying, bless him. He really is. But he's doomed. He hasn't got any damage, even with it. He doesn't need a double damage. He needs a quadrillion damage to do anything against this lineup right now, as they're too far behind OG. Seb, he's Thunderstrike. They're running him down. Na'Vi just continuing to clean up. Look at so them sweeping. Sweeping this triangle. Stop. Over they go, General. Found another. On to Seb. Seb, he's relatively tanky. They will drop the Static Storm to kill him off. And Seb trying to work his way out of this, but Laguna Blade ensures that he does not. Iceberg also able to find more here as he kills off Saxa. Na'Vi, they're going to be able to get a lot done. Then that, that time sort of hit. Tier 3 down. Buyback will come out from Seb. And they catch anyone. Instant glimpse onto Seb. Takes him straight back to the fountain. TP in. Green from Thompson in an attempt to slow things down. But Vichun, he's not going anywhere. He's got the Aegis. He's happy to stick around for this. Seb will move him with the punch. But now the arena's out. Seb being pinned to the walls of his barracks by General Spear. As he's a die back from here. Chrono's out. But he's locked out of he's his own trapped. Chrono. Oh, no. no way. The arena stops him. Well, some, what did, wait, he BKB, what did stop him? Oh, he the was trapped in a creep. Him. Oh, that's even worse. He was trapped in the creeps. And there it is. GG is called as Na'Vi. We, we've seen some strong showings from them so far, but this one, without a doubt, the strongest. As this game won, they they destroyed OG. Game two, ready to go now between Na'Vi and OG. Yeah, top lane it should be with Spirit Breaker and Monkey King onto these two. Well, he's gonna be able to build it up. Right. Take quite a hit here, and he's already used the Boundless, of course, so no Straight up reliability to heal himself up. Roger into the Shadow Realm. Well, he missed just dodge. Let's see. He oh, will. Oh, he's doing good with that. Anyway, meanwhile, hey, down on the bottom lane. Fight kicking off. Five in Saxon so will be the first to draw. Uh, the kill, but they lose the oh my life God, in return. And top lane, they do get Roger with these body blocks as well from notes out. Yeah, they, they are uh, they're having to push it to the edge to do so, as we're seeing these kills that like, happen right underneath the towers. Try for general. 
A bit of a slow on with the Primal Spring. Genera is underneath the tower here. Let's see if they can continue to do this against the hits from the tower. Boundless Strike down onto General. So mid one tries to make his way around. The Sprout holds him back momentarily, but mid one's able to cut himself out with the Quelling Blade. Still can't finish the kill, though. General's got the movement speed to make it away, and no tail. He'll be found here. Roger. Oh, Great actually drop. not a d not damage oh. with the Shadow Realm, but still able to take him out with that further last hit. Mid one, can you get the kill in return? These Triumph blocks from General giving some space for Roger. Roger pops the Fairy Fire. But the balance strike comes out. Mipon will pick an up another kill in this lane now. 2 0 1 on the Monkey King. But still, you know, I don't know, 40% reduction of the lifesteal on the Jingu. Yeah. I mean, and it, of course, it sounds more, amazing. Yeah. Man. Chain stun. Very nicely done there with the cogs. Thompson. Still no Manta. He's very susceptible to get burst. Do no, he's ready to, to break jump. the smoke. Straight over. Looking for Thompson, but they'll turn towards No Tail instead. The hookshot comes across. No Tail caught in the root. He's taken out. Can they find more? Nature's Wrath coming around. All of them. Mid one's going to jump over the fear. Pushing back Saxa. V Tune steps in onto the clockwork. Trying to chase him down, but Saxa's too fast. Saxa's able to step out away. And now V Tune's got to run. He's got the armlet toggle. So is he going to be able to toggle his way through this? He's trying. He's doing oh a good God. job with it as well, but it's not quite good enough. As OG will claim it. The, the fight's probably going to start disasters for them. He has to get on top of these two big, two of these, these two big heroes in the back. And then there's General. Spotted General. Dude, the General in a whole faces. lot of trouble there. They're charging in. Thompson looking to burst him. Always want to fly with a swap to the side. General still going to hit, get hit by the ult of no tail. And now always want to fly. He'll die as well. Saxon Seb running down. Benefit for the attack speed out of Shadow Realm. On him. Iceberg. Save him with a swap, the stomp. Oh. It's, it's gonna be dodge. Hookshot's in though, and they've got him again. And next is the charge. Let's see what they can going. get here. Always wanna fly. Straight upon OG, just the five of them running in onto him. Navi. Trying to get the position in here. Jump. So they can BKB burst him, but Midbon's quick with the BKB. They can't take him down, and now with no tail charging in over towards Vichin. Vichin is going to look towards no tail, see if he can find the Spirit Breaker. No tail's able to be saved, though, with the Glimmer. He's Vichin. alive. He's able to get the ult up onto Vichin. No tail does still fall. Terrorize still being held onto by Roger. As Vichun, he's going to need some help. He's going to need it quick. In it comes. Manta the dodge. Manta dodges the Terrorize. He'll be able to stand his ground. Help mid one take down Vichun. Over to General they go. Seb's able to cancel the TP with a stomp. They're just countered. They can't. They just can't kill the core heroes at all. Like the Life Stealer or the Monkey King and the Morphling will never die. They can kill these support heroes. Maybe. No, they can't. Try, but now General, he's a little bit close. They okay, do get the swap off to the side. Now BKB's out from Midbon. He steps over towards General. Thompson zips him with a waveform. Turns into always want to fly to use the magic missile against him. Fly will be chased down by the two of them. Double kill for Midbon. They do on the side. Maybe try Seb. see if they can take down Seb. The damage. Do so, they will. Okay. They'll take him out. Wukong's command is down, but Vichy is able to step to the side, get away from this all. He's looking to try and run away from the two of them. They're in, silence out, but it's nice terrorized. Very nicely done by Roger, coming in from the side. They do have the glimmer kick, keeping the one safe. The dust is out, but Vichy caught out by the boundless. Burst down. They've got the silence on the hotel. They will manage to get another, but now General's got to run. Mid one and Thompson, they're hunting. Is there anything Iceberg can do to help? As General, he gets the sprout off. Trying to use the treants to block them away, but Thompson turns into the Monkey King. Some double Monkey King action coming in as they both pounce in onto General. Vichun still trying to run over to the side. Mid one and Saxa, they'll run down the easy kill. Looks always want to fly, they'll get him. Is that a, I guess that's the Spirit Breaker voice line that oh. Thompson just used. <laughs> oh, I guess it is, isn't it? That's smart. Yeah. Yeah. That's the, the big play there with the, the, the more function as they're into the base. V Tune trying to turn, but the charge by will catch him. Rage will now come to an end. With the Dream Coil out, so they have the combo. Wukong's command to swap on to Midborn, but he's still in the ult. So the command keeps on going. Kills off always want to play yet another time. Thompson diving in, finds Iceberg close to the fountain. He'll turn on to Thompson. He mounts but the fear's there. They've caught Thompson and they're taking him out. Thompson down for 90. Now now look towards Midborn. Midborn trying for the TP out, but the magic it's missile. A long one. Hey, they're going to be able to kill him. The TP not able to finish in time. In general, he's already out on the map searching for more. Looking towards Seb. Brings Vichun in, Seb tries for the TP out, but Vichun's got the damage. Vichun, he just killed each and every core of OG. Top tower they can actually find a big target here. They have that one ward here, not giving them any information just yet. They see a rocket, and now they see Seb. Seb. Better by the time as he duels up. No, not in a bit of an orc. 
Spot Nipples oh, able to drop down the Wukong's V and he's trapped in the cogs. Can he get his way out? Will manage to run away. Always want to fly. It's going to be the distractions. They leave him behind. Vichun's actually going to turn over towards No Tail. Can he take down the Spirit Breaker? He can. Vichun is able to pick up the kill, but there's three dead on Navi. None of these heroes would buy back. Vichun's trying to run. Can he escape these four heroes? It doesn't look like he can. He's surrounded. Vichun taken out. And they should be able to just run this down mid and at least take a couple of sets of barracks. Now, no fun in diving this time around for OG. They're, they'll no. play the objectives. It's uh, it's it's going to have an incredibly high uptime. It might be 100% uptime. Eight, no, okay, three second no. downtime. And that's, that's, that's pretty, pretty much, much as good as they ever get. Yeah. <laughs> Roger. Thompson's in the charge. They take him down. Thompson. He's off to the side with the waveform and also was able to dodge the dream car with that waveform. Goes towards General. General is trying to run with the Minotaur horn. Turns and with the disarm, but he's already been beaten out. Seb punches down, always want to fly. The primal uh, tree dance cast range. He's just jumping from the same distance. Well, here comes some buybacks. Oh, mid one. On the side, they do get the coil. Swap as they well. They've managed to find the mid one. Can they burst it before he's able to put the cheese on the satanic? They, they are able to do so. They kill him off. Thompson's in on the general, Roger. With the terrorize, doesn't catch Thompson, though. Thompson's alive. Vichun turns towards Saxa. Saxa's pretty tanky, though. Vichun trying his best to kill him off, but he can't do so. The stomp comes in from Seb, and the, the follow up meteor hammer's there as well. Vichun taken out by the charge by as Roger, who does manage to bring down the Morphos, but they're calling. Vichun's dead for two minutes. They know they cannot hold this any longer as OG. They, they really do punch back up in this game two after being beaten down in game one. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. The deciding game three now between OG and Na'Vi. You get those nice spell amp plus mana regen. You know, just playing farm is top. They, they get in on him. get on top of No-Tail. And now mid one. I mean, they, they hit the level of threes and it's a lot of damage. And mid one, he's, he's yet to hit the four. So he hasn't got a point in rage. And with that in mind, they can kill Ooh. him as well. As they do have a Zeus ult ready. And oh, top, No-Tail. Whoa. They're in on it. Connects, General's able to close the gap, set things up. He's got an infused raindrop to help him out a little bit, but it won't help enough. Calm time from like the 8 to 10 minute mark. Thompson finishes up his bots. Seems like OG's fine with just playing a little bit more of the farm style. Yeah, bottom always want to fly. Steps Ooh. up. The D ward, but uh, it's going to cost him his life here. Except trapping him in the pit. Set up for Thompson to come in and finish him off. I suppose going to charge forward, dropping down the two monster, Seb. Also, Vichun swinging in from the side. A Seb should fall unless they can get a deny off. And actually, maybe they won't even find it. He might be okay. He's still alive. The horn sound. The horn. As Vichun, he's looking to finish Dagger off the job. Misses. Dagger's off the mark. Dagger's blindly into the trees. He's going to miss the opportunity to get the kill. And now he might just die himself as they turn on a Vichun. He haunts into his death. Uh -oh. A big mistake there from the Spectre. With this Underlord having a good start with the Nature's Propping having a good start. Like they're just going to look to take these buildings and it's going to shrink the map so much for V2 and he doesn't have great places to farm. I'm going to get the Ice Puff out on the two of them here. Iceberg on the front gets Doom. the Doom down onto Topson, but Topson, he's heading out of there. And uh, he might just live it as uh, Infest. Infest. That's going right. to work as a great counter towards the Doom damage. Just heals him up, keeps him fine. No tail will be turned towards as Iceberg is able to claim another as Na'Vi do get the two of them. But we see Soxa, he's, he's going around looking for these hunts alone because they have all this global potential. He's, he's probably going to get punished for this one. Unless they there, they've got the backup coming over. Maybe he won't at all. The live strike is going to be dropped on him, but Saxa's still alive. No tail TP's he's in. Thunder God's Wrath out. There's always one to fly. He's getting punched out to the side by No tail, but General's in with the stun. Onto the No tail Prophet. Puts a stand Doom to him. One. Doom's down, as well as the horn coming in, but Seb's in with the counter play. He's ready to take them out with the rift. Is he able to do so in time? He is. They're all out of there. They're actually running in. I was going in straight away. Stun will be there onto No tail. General turns, they'll be able to burst him. Okay. As Roger takes him out there. Well, they can get, they look towards General. He's in the pit. Roger coming in with a wrap round. Nice He's just done onto both Sax and Thompson. Ice path as well with a follow up. The snowball saves there for Thompson. Buys him time to get out to the side, but there's the crush from General onto the two of them. Thompson goes down. Sax is going to fall. The light strikes out on the mid one. He gets the rage up in time. He's trying to fight back, trying to take down General, but General's away. General does go down, but not without a huge loss for OG. They're, this is this is a massive risk that they're taking. It's scanned they're, as well. This is some crazy stuff in from OG. As Na'Vi, great. they're going to be looking to punish this for sure. They're heading over. Mid one. The bash. Oh, he's been bashed by Roche. Still just the rage off. They turn the Dooms down. They've got to get him out of there. This time the Rift has taken them away. They're holding close to him. But already but the burst is there. The Uber driver's dead. And so is everybody else. Three down on OG. Thompson and Saxa trying to run.
But this game has just taken a huge turn for the worse over the last few minutes for OG. A Spectre getting an ultra kill. The team's 9k ahead. I don't know how you're coming back from this. That's how this story goes. He knew it. He'd been to the future. He came back. And he knew that at the point at this game where he dooms the creep, OG just start to lose it. As bottom lane. General's trying to fight in. He does get caught in the pit. General will will go down. Always want to fly out with the TP. He's out. Matchups are, you know, we're seeing them really kicking off. Especially Iceberg. now that they have this advantage. Look who he's bottom. found. Straight into Thompson on the bottom lane. Thompson's trying to run. Is there any saving they can do for him? The pit is out. Iceberg popping the BKB. He's still stuck in by the Sprout. His Blink's going to be back up in a second. Can he actually chase Thompson? He'll turn and he'll settle for Seb. Set up for Vichu to close the gap. Sax is watching from the side. He's able to buy some time with the snowball turning in over to the Spectre. Light Strike raised down on the Seth, though. Thunder goes rough, finishes him off. Vichu's low. We'll go down the once. Eichberg tries to CP out, but we will see Mib one able to take him down before he's able to do so. Dagger off to the side. General's in, giving the vision for Roger to burst down Thompson. They look towards Saxa. It's just and another cleanup crew here from Na'Vi. Mib one, is he out? Rage, he's away. They will get this tier two bottom. No? The decision from Navi to They're smoked. Say that Iceberg, he's in with the two. They're setting up. He's able to jump straight in onto Mid One. They're trying to get Mid One out of here. Seb, no dark rift for 20 seconds. They're gonna lose Mid One. He's gone. Navi, they, they are up to come in with the hold. They're in with the Laguna, chasing down Thompson. Thompson is trying to hide, but the Yule setup's there, straight into the combo. Another Seb is trying to hold back. Always want to fly, but always want to fly. He will fall, but he's been able to buy time for Navi. That's gonna hurt. Navi, all position. Smoke oh, they out. smoke, but it's instantly put to a stop. Navi's ready on the high ground. The horns out. They get the roll in onto the two of them. Seb's trying to take them out already. Realizes this is not gonna be a good fight. He'll get mid one out of there. But yeah, it's just the fights are just impossible. They're really yeah. just impossible. And just, Sasha just dies instantly. No tail dies instantly, and then they're just three quarters running around. And look at some of these levels as well. So Vtune, he's about to hit the 25, oh whereas OG's you know, tops in a mid one, they're only just hitting level 20 in general. Jump. He's just general. a two-man crush. Look at the ice wall down straight away onto Tops. He's trying to heal up with the bloodstone, but this damage is too much for this Zeus to withstand. He goes down, Doom's dropped onto mid one, and this time around, Seb, he's got no way of taking him home. As Seb will fall slowly but surely. No tails pushed back to the base. Three heroes dead, all three cores without buyback. No tails gone as, as well. I mean, this game, it's it's basically over. 39 to 11, 30k lead. I mean, it kind of feels like it's been over for, for quite some time. As Na'Vi, they know, they're looking to close this. Onto the tip, oh, and with no buybacks available on OG. I mean, even, even if they were there, let's be honest, it's not like they had too much at all to slow this down. Damn. Na'Vi at the back of the Doom, looking good. Back of the Lina, Slardar lane top, also looking good. Na'Vi just looking sharp today, especially when they can rally around this Doom.